This is Illinois Extension's Voice of the Wild. A new wild voice in just a moment. So find someplace quiet, take a deep breath, and enjoy. This rusty cap sparrow is a visitor from the far, far north. It nests even beyond the tree line, that place beyond which winter conditions are so extreme that trees simply will not grow. A scattered few will return from that tundra biome starting in October, but they come in force throughout November, just as our fall collapses fully into winter. When startled from a frantic search for seeds below feeders, in snowy pastures, along hedgerows, prairies, and grassy parklands, they'll jump into the weeds to see the approaching threat. That's a good opportunity to see the black dot at the center of their pale, plain chest. Look, too, for their bicolored bill, which is yellow below and black above, and for a rust-red line running through the eye. And despite their name, this sparrow is not particularly fond of trees. This is the American tree sparrow. Spizoloides arborea, from the family of New World sparrows Passerellidae. The American tree sparrow's sweet and variable song is seldom heard through the thick of winter, but they will sing as temperatures begin to rise. Their calls, however, are given all throughout, and they have a few. An alarm, a hard tink, a softer chew, given in flight, and back and forth, see you, see you, when foraging in a flock. At least in my mind, these varied calls serve as a reminder that even on the bitter cold days that send us traipsing through our own snowy footprints, there is life to hear in Illinois. Here's the American tree sparrow again. Thank you to the Macaulay Library, the Cornell Lab for the individual songs and calls, and to Paul Driver on xenocanto.org for the flock calls. And thank you for tuning in to learn a new wild voice with Illinois Extension.